All right, so uh, we have seen a plot of the nuclear binding energy per nucleon, and we found that, all right, so the midweight uh, nuclei are stable. So the more stable are at uh, iron 56, we have that 8.79 uh, mega electron volt. Um, and for the lighter nucle uh, nuclei can gain uh, the stability by combining right, to a heavier nuclei, and we call this process a nuclear fusion. While the uh, heavier nuclei can get also gain the stability by breaking down to smaller nuclei and gain stability. Uh, that's the process we call nuclear fission. Okay, so we're going to start talking about nuclear fission in here. So it's kind of fun in here. All right, so the nuclear fission is basically a, frag a fragmentation of a heavier nuclei uh, over like two hundred, like over two hundred mass number uh, to use a smaller and more stable nuclei. I'll just take a look here. So uranium thirty-five. Well, it's still it's it's actually uran uranium is actually stable because it exists in uh, in on a, on Earth's surface. Okay, uh, but it's it's slightly radioactive. Anyway, so we can uh, induce the fission process of uranium by making it less stable. So we're gonna add one neutron. No, I have to, of course, they use cyclotron and stuff. So add a neutron into this uranium, making uranium 236, which is really, really unstable. Once the uranium 236 is formed, it breaks down right away. Okay. Release a large amount of energy and break down to smaller, a smaller nuclei plus three neutrons. Okay. So it looks something like that. So neutron, we got uranium 235 become 236. Uh, that's fish, uh, fission. Um, release large amount of energy okay so here's the thing though these three neutrons that come out okay this is a problem uh, there's a troublesome the three neutrons that come out um can hold on no sorry can induce up to three more fission so the three come over here each one of them can do one more fission and it fit each fission will make three more neutrons does it make sense so it looks like a chain reaction right here. So the first, uh, we call first generation, produce uh, three neutrons, supposed to be three, but I don't have space, so uh, supposed to be three neutrons. Uh, each neutron will induce one more uh, um, nuclear fission, making three more neutrons. So three here, you get nine on the first generation, uh, nine times each one produce three more fission, so nine times three, that's 27 total on the fourth generation, all right? If the sample size is small, many neutrons just escape, escape before initiating the next uh, nuclear fission. But if you have enough amount of uranium, and enough, I mean, we, we call it critical mass, there will be enough neutron and, ura and uranium that can keep uh, the nuclear fission going, look something like that. And just keep going and self-sustaining, right? The, uh, the smallest mass that can keep the fission self-sustained is called a critical mass. Okay, the smallest amount of uh, fissile material needed for a sustained nuclear chain reaction. And that, when it happened, uh, uh, the uh, critical mass of uranium, let's, I'm going to read right here. So uranium-235, uh, critical mass is 122.2 pounds. Not a lot at all, 56 kilo, not a lot, right? Uh, the nuclear will be kept generating and uh, pro the process is self-sustained. And this happened in Japan because of that. Ew. Yeah, uh, in uh, August 6th, uh, August, August 6th, uh, 1945, uranium 235 is used to destroy the whole uh, military base in Hiroshima and of course population of people, uh, Japanese people as well. And three days later, so they used plutonium 239 uh, bomb in Nagasaki and this bomb is even hor uh, more horrible than um, uh, Hir at uh, Hiroshima. And this is what happened. Okay. Um, at the beginning, so uh, in Hiroshima, people die about ninety thousand, about ninety thousand death, and in Nagasaki, it's about thirty nine thousand. But in the uh, two to f in the four months span after this, uh, the initial death uh, at Hiroshima, there are one hundred forty six thousand people more that die, and uh, eighty thousand more people in Nagasaki. Uh, that's because of the we call it radiation sickness and injury and some that, some that other illness malnutrition and people just keep dying and dying okay and so atomic bomb disease that's uh, the, what they call uh, kill people after the initial death and the total casualty is estimated to be um, all, almost 50 percent of uh, the Japanese population that's a 
a lot and really, really sad. All right. Um, okay. All right. Before we go further, so the critical mass of fissionable material is what? A, B, C, or D? It is C, smallest mass necessary to sustain a nuclear fission chain reaction. It's a chain reaction, right? So what, uh, we don't have enough the, the um, uh, fissionable material. One fission. Yep, that's it. The, this neutron will just go hit the, the on the side of the container or just escape, right? But if you have enough um, the fissionable material, so that we call critical mass, and neutron comes in, break apart, and just keep going like that. You know that? All right. So uh, this this is a downside of using um, uh, nuclear fission as a as a weapon. Oh, we can use on the other way. So this one, we're going to talk about uh, the nuclear reactor. Now, this is a positive side uh, application of nuclear reaction. Okay.